Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a quick uh, look at the grid editor in Easy Drummer 3. I'm basically going to be comparing it to the MIDI editor in Logic Pro, because that's the other one that I use primarily. Um, I imagine it will be similar to ones in other DAWs. It won't be exactly the same because every DAW is built differently, but it'll give you a general idea of the things you can do in it and how it's supposed to be easier and it's set up to be more convenient. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get to it. I showed you the grid editor last time. Um, I stupidly was putting in quarter notes, but they were actually whole notes because I wasn't, I saw the one, the two, not realizing it's a measure. I'm used to like logic where it has the one, one, two, one, three, which is the quarters. Those are quarters. And then I see this one, two, and that, those are measures, not quarters. So that's a whole note. So that'd be, so if I <laughs> did that little drum beat, it was a whole note. I have to click the pencil and then yeah, when I put them in. So if I want to do a kick pattern where it's just like that. So that's your quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So yeah. Um, and again, it's as easy as doing that and then taking this and literally dragging it if you want it to fill. Yep, so. Let's make this one a, a crash. There we go. Here we go. There you go. All right, cool. So yeah, it's pretty cool that um, I like having the window in here. Um, I like that I can literally just drag across and delete them all. It's nice. Uh, you can adjust the velocity here, the dynamics. You can randomize. There's just so many different things you can do. The tambourine. It's nice because it's all here. If you do it in Logic, which is what I tend to use, um, you have to deal with the piano roll. And the piano roll will have a lot of um, duplicates. You'll have the snare in a couple different places. So if I was to open up, let me just do like a new track. So go to new project. I'll go to my templates because I have... Um, blanks here I can use to throw a MIDI in real quick. So if I'm to, if I was to create a MIDI region here, I think this is easy drummer two, let's move it to three, there we go. <clears throat> so if I'm in here, if I'm gonna edit MIDI here, I double click and I go down here and there's the piano roll on the left side. So I can check my drums here. I know my, my bass drum is usually C1 and there's my snare. So if I was to do it here, you have to see here you have the one, one, two, one, three. Those are your quarters. So put the bass drum there. And again, I have to adjust the velocity. I'll just make it loud because, because rock and roll, that's why. Um, but then you gotta find the hi-hat, you know. There's your open hi-hat, and there's your semi-open. That sounds more like a foot, like a, you hit with your foot. Um, that's a closed. So there's so many hi hats, and most of them sound the same. Like these, these all these sound the same. I will go with that, and then let's see. Oop, I hit the play button instead of the. Yeah, so you can't. So if I went to drag it here, I always do that. The event list. If I go to drag it here, it's not gonna drag. It's gonna just make the note longer. So like for drums, making the note um, last a whole. <laughs> a whole note or four beats is just it, it's not it doesn't make a difference because you only hear the hit you only hear the attack so having a whole note as a bass drum hit you can make it literally the tiniest little dot it sounds the same it's there's no difference um, so for me visually I like to see it like this it's just easier to, to kind of take it in I usually make the, the window a little smaller um, and yeah so I, I would do it like that and it's actually easier in this case to just copy paste because, you know, boop, there you go. That's really fast, so. <laughs> and it's all the same, like, it's all the same velocity. So then I would have to humanize it. So for that, you know, right click on it, MIDI, transform, and then humanize, boop. And then you have to select that and operate. And we're good, now it's humanized, yippee. 
So not bad. Uh, but but yeah, a little bit more involved because like I said, you got to find the stuff. And you get, like I said, you do get used to where it is. C1 I know is bass drum. Um, D1 is your snare drum. And then all the way down here, you have hi-hats down there. You have hi-hats up here too. Oh, those are symbols. Uh, this one. Those three. Uh, so there's all your symbols. You have your china. There's your bell. Your ride bell. Um, splash symbol. There's your regular ride. And your bell. So like they're not even near each other. <laughs> so like it, you know you have to remember, and it's fine. It does. And it's not like it's that complicated that you can't do it. But in the if you're doing it in Easy Drummer, it is a lot easier because you can literally see everything right here. You pop it in, and then you can literally um, drop it down here, and then drag it into into Logic, and it works the same way. So like let here, let's do that real quick. So if I do that, what I did before. Yeah, I'm making them too far apart. I'm doing great. I'm doing great here, guys. <laughs> doot, doot. Doot, doot. All right, I'm spreading them out too far. All right, so then I do that, and then I take the little, the little um, hi hat, which is here, and drag it out. All right. not exactly how I played it, but whatever, who cares? I'm just gonna do that to show you. So it shows up in here like this. So as long as I make it, it shows up as a MIDI file like that. And I can literally just drag it right into here. Boop. Insert tempo. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll see, it'll change it. And here you go, so. It's a different drum set I have this, because I my template I have set up as my metal drums. But if you double click on it, whoops, which it was, sorry, you can see it here and it shows you just the same way I have the other the other one here. It's just, you can see that these lines are specific because I did them in Logic. These ones are much smaller, shorter. And again, it doesn't matter because the drum is just the one attack. You can drag this forever and you'll only hear the one hit anyway, so. So, and you can see that very, look at that. So very humanized. Even if it's not humanized, it's still like, cause that's 121, that one's 113, it's 65. So you have that strong beat, weak beat, strong beat, weak beat. So, and it, it's very apparent here, which is nice. Like even though the beat is perfect, it sounds human because of this right here, all this, the, the, um, the velocities being so different and random. And I like that, that Easy Drummer literally just does that on its own. You don't have to like program it because you have this right here, humanize. It automatically humanizes it. But the beats are still right on, so it just humanizes the velocity, which no human would play it exactly the same unless you were really stiff. So you would, you would, you know, you would accent where you need the accent. So it's cool, very cool. I like it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So far, if you guys have anything in specific you'd like to, to know more about, um, let me know in the comments. If you like what I've done so far, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more of these videos. Um, I try to do a little bit of everything musically. I do, obviously, you, you can see on my channel, there's uh, I do some covers with, with, with my friend. We do like one a week. Um, I do some of these videos where I go over certain things, programs, uh, recording techniques. I have so far just one guitar exercise video. I wanted to do a bunch, but I just kind of, I wanted to uh, get permission to use some of the stuff that I used to practice when I was in school because I got them from teachers from Berkeley and I wanted to use those as um, demonstrations for the videos. But uh, I haven't been able to get in, get in touch with one of my other teachers. Uh, John Finn has been awesome. I uh, got in contact with him. He gave me permission to use that one exercise I use. I have more of his exercises, so I should definitely do some more of his videos. He always gave me some great stuff to work on. Um, and even now, 20 years later, I still I still practice the stuff because it's awesome. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed what I was able to show you. Uh, I know I didn't show you everything. I didn't get into like crazy detail, but I didn't want to make the video 20 minutes like the last one. I, the last ones I put out for Easy Drummer 3. 
I wanted to try to keep it around 10 minutes so that you can get, I can get to the point and you can just see what you needed to see. And, you know, I just wanted to be helpful to you. Um, and also just share what I've learned. So I hope it was helpful. If you liked what you saw, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Um, I am humbled and grateful for the uh, amount of feedback I've gotten over this last week since I started doing the Easy Drummer videos. Uh, thank you guys so much. I was not expecting it, but I am, like I said, deeply humbled and grateful. So thank you again, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys soon.